Hurricane Barrel officially made landfall for the second time along the Yucatan Peninsula just northeast of Tulum with max sustained winds of 110 miles per hour just after six in the morning local time. Now we are going to see this continue to weaken as of the latest update already has weakened to 100 mile per hour max sustained wind speeds and wind gusts of 130 miles per hour. Now this is moving over the Yucatan Peninsula and as it does, it will continue to weaken. I'm still expecting to see a few of these hurricane warnings in place just because of the high winds and that'll continue throughout the morning. On the opposite end, tropical storm warnings continue for the high winds and the heavy rainfall storm surge looking more and more likely though along that Yucatan Peninsula coastline. So this will weaken and then eventually as it moves over the Gulf this weekend, it's going to tap into some warm water and it will strengthen, likely looking like it could make landfall near Brownsville, near South Texas, sometime late Sunday into early Monday. And at that point, we're going to see some heavy rainfall, some storm surge as well. So we'll see this eventually taking a turn and it almost looks like it follows Interstate 35. Again, landfall likely sometime Sunday into Monday, but moving along Central Texas Tuesday into Wednesday. As of now, the wind speeds won't be that big of an issue when it makes it into Central Texas as it'll weaken to about 30 miles per hour. It's just going to be that heavy rain that we'll be dealing with and along the coastline as well. The potential for some very, very uh, strong rip current. So that'll be something else to consider if you're heading in that direction. As far as the rain potential in the next seven days, four to five plus inches of rain will be possible in South Texas, but across Central Texas, two to four, and that generally lowers the more north you go. For DFW over the next week, we could see anywhere between one to two inches of rain accumulation, one to three inches towards the southeast and less than one across our western counties. So let's go ahead and take another look at this because I want to show you what this could look like on a time cast. Again, there's that potential track. This could change just because we still have a lot of time between now and then. So I'm going to show you this. This is one model. This is Monday taking you through the day, but look at how all that moisture as it comes up along I-35. A big bulk of it does stay to the southeast of DFW. This is Tuesday around noon, and then we'll continue to see really it progress into Wednesday. So we've upped our rain coverage next week, and that in turn will help drop our temperatures. Again, we have seen another landfall from Barrel along the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Make sure to keep staying updated with us throughout the weekend as we get more data once it does move into the Gulf.